Hello, I am Gina Lum. Today there are many crimes committed each day, some worse than others. Only 61.4% of murderers are caught, which leaves about 38.6 of them still out there. There is sexual violence committed every 73 seconds in America, meaning there is roughly about 1,183 sexual acts each day. There are countless terrorist attacks each year around the world. There is an average of 102 car crashes each day. There are 800,000 children reported missing each year, meaning there's over 2,000 children that goes missing each day. There are 2.8 million runaway teens each year and over 7,500 runaway teens each day. My speech today is going to be on the topic of technology. The device I chose are trackers. Trackers are made of GPS modules that receive the GPS signal and calculate the coordinates. Trackers are a locating system that allows you to locate any device or thing when implanted on the object or person. A tracking system is a navigation system used to locate things or people using satellites to give them the exact location of something. If you were to implant trackers on everyone's phones, cars, motorcycles, or any mode of transportation, we would be able to reduce the amount of crime committed each day. From a parent's point of view, trackers are seen as a necessity rather than as a child, it's seen as a burden. Having this information as a parent gives them a better night's rest knowing you are safe where you are supposed to be. As a child, we don't think about our parents' feelings. We don't think about them worrying about us or fearing the worst that could happen to us. Their goal in life is to see us grow as much as they can before they pass. They aren't supposed to bury their child. The child is supposed to bury them when the time is right. As a child coming from experience, the tracker seems to limit our freedom and restrict us from being a child. The thing is that times aren't the same as it, it, as it once was for our parents or guardians. Though it's not as safe as you may think back then, but it is much worse now than before. <clears throat> These criminals have access to much more technologies than ever before and give, and that gives them an edge on their praise. We must think one step ahead of these criminals. <clears throat> Many in this country would like to have trackers implemented into our bodies such as we do to our pets. The trackers we put into our pets are so we know where they are when they run away or if someone takes them. Pet trackers are simply inserted right under their skin with nothing but a pinch of pain to do so. These trackers also don't hurt them as much or at all as we may think. Pet trackers are 95% accurate on the location and 5% is near the location or the general area. Therefore, these trackers are incredibly accurate. So why do we implant trackers on them but not ourselves if, that, if it doesn't hurt? This tracker wouldn't be used for anything other than for our safety. As we wouldn't want our dogs to be dognapped, our parents don't want us to be kidnapped. We could also use these trackers to track down criminals to serve them the justice they deserve. We would be able to prove someone guilty or not guilty of their crimes that they are charged with. Trackers could be so useful in our society, especially with what's going, what's going on across the country with the looting and rioting going on. We must protect our people as much as we can. We must straighten out our society. But many don't agree with this because it restricts us from fully living our amendments. Our amendment is what attracts the eyes of so many who come into this country. Many come for the freedom of which they aren't granted in their own country. So what do we do if we would like to make this country safer for others? So it comes down to the simple question, is the safety of you and others more important than our freedom? Would you like to walk around freely? Would you like to walk around always having to look over your shoulder? Do you want to be able to have others receive the justice they deserve for the crime they commit? Do you want to walk around with criminals and having no idea who they are? Would you like to see our country lose all it's worked for? Or would you like to see our country safer than ever? This is for you to decide. This is for you to decide. Thank you for listening. I'm Jane Lum, and this is my speech about 
technology and the device I chose was trackers. Thank you.